Good day everyone, my name is Jesse Jeffrey Matias. I'm from Domino Technical Support Team. Today I'll be showing you how we can use Domino Remote Server Setup application. Basically it's uh, the ability to remotely set up or configure a newly uh, installed Domino server. So let's start. So uh, as mentioned, a remote server setup tool is used to remotely configure a Domino server mostly used on an, an environment that has no graphical user interface or GUI, like uh, some um, Linux or Unix distributions. So he, this is the sample of a um, remote server setup. Prompt, um, you, you, it would ask you for a host name or IP address and connect to port 8585. And there's also a tool built in a uh, on this tool, the, the ping. Uh, you can ping from your machine going to the server machine that you're trying to remote in. So there, there are several ways to run the remote server setup. First is you can use the Windows client ad, that has a Domino administrator client installed. Uh, second, you can use a Windows or Unix uh, client without Domino administrator installed. And lastly, you can use a another Domino server, mainly a Windows server. So when using a Windows client uh, with administrator client installed, um, you uh, first of all, you would need to run the Domino server with a dash listen switch. Uh, you would need to run the Domino server that you want to configure or set up uh, so that uh, it, it would um, be set to, to uh, remotely set up. So on this case, um, you can go to your start and programs and under the HCL applications folder, you would see the remote server setup. Uh, note that if you don't see the remote server setup program, um, it is likely that you you didn't select it during the notes client installation. So I would suggest rerunning the installer and this time select the remote server setup under the HCL Domino administrator option. The next, uh, another way to set up the or to run the remote server setup is uh, on a Unix, Windows or Unix environment without a Domino administrator. So same steps, you would need to run uh, the Domino server that you want to configure with dash listen switch. After which, um, you, you want to make sure that the machine has the Java runtime environment installed on the system. Um, then next is you need to copy some files from the Domino server going to your uh, remote machine. So these files are cfg server.jar and jhol.jar. And depending on which uh, client, uh, remote client are you using, if you are using Windows, you would need the remote setup.cmd. If you're using Unix, um, you would need the remote setup script. So uh, the next is you would run those script uh, using the command prompt. So for Windows, you would run the remote setup.cmd, and for Unix, you would need to run the remote setup. So if you encounter an error that the system cannot find the path specified, uh, it means that the script could not find your uh, Java runtime environment or your JVM. So you can you can edit the script and uh, set the full path to your JVM folder. Uh, for the script to run properly. So next is uh, to run the uh, remote server setup using a Domino server. Um, so same steps. Uh, the first step is to run the Domino server you want to configure a setup with dash listen switch. Then for the remote server, um, you can run the server task with the dash remote switch. So on my case, I have a remote uh, or a different Windows server and I want to remote in a Linux or Unix environment. So I would go to the Domino directory or the program directory, then run the end server dash remote uh, switch. So I, I can see the prompt uh, to remotely access the or configure the other server that I have. Mm -hmm. 